snapshot of what's happened within the last 48 hours alone. Now, a landmark UN climate report has delivered a confident and frightening verdict. Do I think, you know, the end of the world's coming? No, I don't. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just a weird feeling. And it's all across our globe, extreme weather of seemingly biblical proportions, now a painful new normal. Well, it's been a week of extreme weather conditions and weather-related disasters around. The UN says this is a code red for humanity and there is nowhere to hide. In every region in the world, climate and weather extremes have changed. As the world reacts to a landmark climate report, Greece is staring down the real-life impacts facing its worst fire emergency in the country's modern history. Dusk turns the sky from charcoal to an ominous blood red. Vehicles tossing in the torrent. This terrifying eyewitness footage captured the scene in northern Turkey just days ago. The Italian island of Sicily registered 48.8 degrees Celsius on Wednesday, which if verified would be the continent's highest temperature ever recorded. The latest heat wave is being caused by an anticyclone nicknamed Lucifer moving up from Africa. The Earth's climate is getting so hot that in about a decade temperatures will likely exceed the level of warming that world leaders are trying to prevent. Tiger from London comes here every year and she's never known it like this. Maybe climate change. I'm quite scared about that's the reason why, if I'm honest, because it's never really been quite as hot. I've been coming au pairing for about three years and it's never been like this. It's quite are scary. Are you worried about the fires? About the fires, yeah. I think they're terrifying. Around the world, fire crews are battling fires tonight on a nearly unprecedented scale. If seeing is believing, many are getting a first-hand look at a worst-case scenario for you. Apocalyptic scenes in parts of southern Italy devoured by flames. More than 2,000 people were forced to flee wildfires ravaging Greece's second largest island, Avia. The wildfires burning in Russia now are bigger than all the fires raging across the globe combined. Bigger than those in the US, Canada, Turkey and Greece put together. This the view as passengers fly into Yakutia, a region 3,000 miles from Moscow. Turkey is in the grip of a compounding crisis whilst battling some of the biggest wildfires in its history. Powerful floods are tearing through its Black Sea provinces, ripping down this house. Whoa! Unusually heavy rainfall has caused the chaos. The flash floods a frightening sight when they first rushed in. <coughs> Dozens of cars have been strewn through the streets or stacked high. The eight largest fires in California have all occurred in the past four years. Unprecedented 116 degree heat in the Pacific Northwest and all-time record highs in Canada causing hundreds of deaths earlier this summer. Folks, I'm showing you this, you know, on Last Day's Voice because you need to be aware of the, the, the physical things, the natural disasters, the, the, the heat, the flooding, all that's going on, the deaths, the earthquakes, so much is going on. This is just one part of what's going to be happening in the last days. I'm not even getting into the agendas of the globalists, uh, the, the, the political parties, and so much more that Satan is behind. But I do want you to notice it's getting serious, it's getting real, it's going to continue to get really bad, a lot worse than what you're seeing. Let me show you some more, and I'll come back to you to tell you more. All right? God bless you all, and don't fear. God doesn't want us to be afraid, but this stuff is happening all over the world, and everyone is being affected in some way or another. And if it's not record heat and fires, it's flooding. Yet again, Venice's iconic St. Mark's Square covered in water far earlier in the year than normal. These horrifying scenes from China, commuters trapped in chest-deep water in train cars. Streets transformed into rivers after record rainfall in the center of the country. How high was the water up to here? Uh, that's like, yeah. 
I was in Germany just three weeks ago, the site of devastating floods after a once in 1,000 year rainstorm killed at least 160 people. There's so many people dead. You don't expect people to die in a flood in Germany. Buildings in this medieval town, around since before the 15th century, were once thought to be able to stand the test of time. Now, potentially destroyed by one flood. From floods that wipe out entire towns to fires that leave forests and homes burned, covered in ash, still smoldering. These extreme, once-in-a-lifetime, unprecedented events are now becoming common. And scientists all point to one thing. The signs are all there with fires raging around the world, in Greece and Turkey and in California. Once in a century, flash floods killed hundreds in Germany, Belgium and China this summer. The climate is getting more hostile and today the UN said it is already too late to stop some of the devastating impacts of climate change. All this smoke is a problem far beyond Russia. The fires are releasing record quantities of carbon dioxide. This year, already more than Britain's entire annual CO2 emissions, based on an estimate by a European Union agency. You really feel the scale of the fire here. This whole area burned only about three weeks ago. You see, just as far as you can look, it's all blackened and burned. With increased temperatures now believed to be inevitable, Yakutia's massive fires are likely to only get worse. Scientists say another sign of how fast and how drastically the planet's climate is changing. Now folks, Joe Romero here, last day's voice. I've been sharing just some clips of some of the work that Jason A does and he, he's one of many YouTubers that brings about the news we need to kind of be aware of uh, that's going on around the world showing that the prophecies of the Bible are being fulfilled you know and, and you're seeing it in diverse places the earthquakes the flooding the the fires and and we know that pearliest times are here we know that times of trouble are here we know that this is the beginning of sorrows we know that a lot of this stuff is expected and don't be surprised but it is going to continue and as we see that going on I'm going to be sharing some videos with you about the other portions you need to know that is going on there's things going on with the animals a lot of deaths in the animals as the result of the climate change as a result of the temperatures of the water oxygen being a problem even here locally we've had problem with oxygen in, in some of our lakes and we're seeing firsthand what it's like okay so I'm going to be putting at the lastdaysvoice.org website some of these very very good creators who have YouTube channels for you to follow I am going to be placing their videos entirely unedited so that they can get the credit so that they can get new followers and we're going to put that in the last days voice.org there's many many people that you're going to be able to follow at last days voice.org where i will automatically update the website last days voice.org for all these people who i consider to be voices for the end times we have uh you know the guys in Israel we have guys covering the news we have people teaching uh, prophecies and, and educating us about all the things that are going on now you know from time to time I will give a word as God gives me instruction but here's the thing we have to be ready okay we have to be like the five wise virgins who were awakened right and uh, if you haven't heard that teaching on the the parable of the, the ten virgins please listen to these prophecies that Jesus gave as parables there are many of them the one thing the ten virgins had in common you'll hear me say it more than once they were all asleep okay and they had to wake up okay and some of them were ready when they woke up some of them weren't that plays a part it's one of the only times in the Bible you see uh, saints being not 
in a sharing mode because they said they wouldn't have enough oil for themselves if they were to share that oil with the five foolish virgins who did not prepare. They were told to go to the market and get for yourself, meaning they have the means to go get stuff for themselves. They should have thought about this ahead of time. I'm here sounding an alarm. Get yourself ready for what's coming upon this earth. If you're living in earthquake territory, you know how I feel. Move, move, get out of there. I've seen the visions of the massive earthquakes that are coming to our western side of the United States. But keep in mind, there's going to be massive earthquakes everywhere, and they already are happening. Haiti just got hit really hard. We'll be sharing a video concerning that shortly. Anyway, let me keep this short. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, keep watching and praying. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way.